just think there's something really beautiful in knowing that we were completely selfless and making sure that our kids were gonna have the best lives possible. Yeah? New movie, People You May Know. It is the latest romantic comedy just in time for the holidays. You may also know Ian from the TV show Pretty Little Liars. He's here now. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I love watching your reaction just now to seeing that clip. You kind of <laughs> yeah. winced a little bit. Yeah, no, you can never really, I can't really ever watch myself do the, uh, do the acting. I think it's because, you know, you just sort of nitpick uh, at yourself. That's but, interesting. But yeah, I, I, but I think it looks great. I mean, it came out well. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, uh, what I think is so interesting about this movie is that it tackles something that affects so many people in our generation. Yeah. Social media. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. how I think a lot of people are sort of addicted to it and take it in an unhealthy direction. Do you agree? Yes. Yeah, I absolutely. And I think, you know, social media, kind of like with any other sort of advance in human technology and innovation, it has its uses and definitely is worth something. But once you really start to wrap up your self worth and your personal value in it, I think that can become dangerous. And I think that our, our lead character, played by Nick Thune here, <laughs> uh, can, can, like he learns that lesson so uh, I really like this script because it kind of got into what it means to be a person today and have social media well you obviously have a personal connection here because being on the show pretty little liars yeah. I'm sure you've had instances on social media where you probably felt like this was a little too much yeah yes and I, I mean I, I feel like I, I got a social media following sort of as like collateral damage from the <laughs> show and um, you know, it's it's helped me in some ways. Like I work with the Lucas Foundation of America, and to help sort of raise money for that cause. And so it's very useful in that sense. It's good for like publicity. And if you're doing something new, you can put it out there immediately. And there's no middleman. There's no like fan club like there was back in the day. But I think it can also drive you a little insane if you're taking constant like selfies of yourself. It's sort of like an external consciousness. And now it seems ubiquitous. You go out and you see people yeah. on the sidewalk doing this every day. It's almost like it's, it's sort of taken over yeah. now. And, and, you know, your character obviously in this movie is dealing with this. Right, yes. And it's completely antithetical to that. I think, you know, I, I, I play the, um, to the, the husband, to our, the lead character, Frankie, about and, and how he's against it. He's a, he's a professor who's like moved up to, you know, upstate New York, is out of the city and is out of, you know, thinks Facebook is the, a den of narcissists. And so I'm a nice foil to everybody else in the movie. <laughs> You're the voice of reason, basically. I, to me, yeah, it was weird reading the script and being like, you know, I actually kind of agree with some of the things that he's saying, you know. Um, but it was, it was a nice sort of um, exercise for me. Do you think that going forward, I mean, th this is going to continue to be something that grows, that more and more people are going to be sort of hooked on social media yeah. and perhaps taking it, you know, in a, in a healthy level where they're measuring their self-worth and yeah. comparing themselves to other people? Yeah, I think so. But at the same time, I wonder if in some ways, very much like, let's say, the telephone, when the telephone first came out, you know, people were like, oh, my God, it's the devil and, and it's going to ruin society. But people just adapted. And eventually, you know, everybody was sort of into it for a while. Again, like, I, I guess I don't really know the history of the telephone. But, you know, <laughs> 1848 was when it was invented. I do know that. <laughs> really? Well, see, you know more than I do. But uh, with social media, I feel people will eventually learn how to use it properly. Instead of constantly putting themselves out there online, constantly disseminating all this information they'll they'll learn how to curate it and hopefully i'm hoping that's where it'll go was this a fun movie for you to be a part oh, of so much fun you know it's great to um you know like there's there's several scenes that are pretty deep and heavy and and it was great to just go and go to town and and kaylee smith westbrook the actress that i have only scenes with was just you know a joy to work with and and i think it's a cool film you know usher is in it he makes a cameo and he showed up the premiere and it was like a wonderful it was just a wonderful experience all around. All right. Well, Ian Holder, we appreciate yeah, you yeah. for coming in. Thanks so much. The movie will be out very soon. And for more information about Ian Harding and the movie People You May Know, just go to our website, kkl9.com, and click Scene on TV.